Makada brando le vede le vede Zega da la vado le babi grando Zafri barado sayata la ba Rapato brandi vagada la ragi vada la brando le vede le vede Makau shede le braga vadi le brando le vede le branga vada la baya Rado shada la brandi Many blessings people of God uh, just come on live, just come on live, just come on live, just come on the live. Malapra do si vragi vada la brande le vede le bragi ada la bragi ada la brando siata. Ika pa la brando se vragi vada la brande le le vede. Raka pa ta sa la braga vada la brando le yata la la badosa. Ika pa la baluan te le le vede yada la branga vala baba. Beloved, when you come on the video, begin to share with somebody, share with a friend, and share with a brother. It is our live video, and today we are coming live special, special live video. Remember, you are all welcome, precious one. You are welcome to the live video. You are all welcome to the live video. Rabado shada la branga vada la bradia da la badosa. Repaga bada la branda le 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 You are welcome to this live video, and your life is never going to be the same. Many blessings, people of God. This is your prophet A. S. Kelvin. It is meticulously. It is prophetic. It is going to be massive. It is going to be great. I don't know who is watching me and where you are watching me from. But I came to speak to you the intent of God. The divine flow of the revelation and the knowledge of the word of God. I came to speak prophetically under the unction of the Holy Ghost. That will bring divine transformation into the life of somebody. I came with a prophetic decree that surpass understanding. Is somebody ready for a divine transformation? Is somebody ready for a move? It is going to be massive and it's going to be meticulous now listen to me when you come on the video share with the friend share with the brother share with the friend and share with the brother and also remember to begin to comment i am blessed i am a blessing say something about the your, your, your spiritual move say something because something massive is going to happen right now just begin to comment i am blessed i am a blessing my household is blessed my children are blessed my family is blessed my generation is blessed my generation is blessed my household is blessed my children are blessed Begin to declare that my household is blessed, my children are blessed, my generation is blessed, my family is blessed, my household is blessed, my children are blessed, my generation is blessed, my family is blessed. Let's begin to come in right now. Ah, my God. My God, my God. Oh, Shadow Lebron Delivery Gataya. When you come, just begin to share, begin to share, begin to share, begin to share, begin to share. Just share with somebody, share with the friend, share with the brother. I tell you, my cabra do si atala vada le braga baluata. Ah, yeah, yeah, matala raga vada la brand. We are live right now. We are live right now. We are live right now. I just you people can just imagine how glad I am to be live here with you people. Like it has been a long time, man. We said no, we're going to come live in a very uh, unique fashion, you know. It is going to be very massive and, and, and great by the grace of God. And I mean, it's going to be great. 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 I'm just, um, you know, testing some few things that I learned that has to do with like a studio, switcher studio and stuff like that. So um, by the grace of God, don't worry. Uh, as for me, you know, when I come live, it's going to be massive. Yeah. So prepare yourself for something great because today is our day. Marco Perega do Safra Picara da Daya. Akuba la Bramba la Levelo Agia Gada la Brantele Levedi. My God, my God, my God, my God. Ale Prodo Sofro Bigada la Brad. Just prepare yourself when you come on the video. Just begin to share with the friend and share with the brother. Share with somebody. Share with the friend and share with the brother. Makapa la Bala Bala Baba. 
Rabado Shata Labran give her the Labran. Share with a friend and share with the brother. Share with a friend and share with the brother. When you come on the video, just begin to share right now. Just begin to share right now. La Cardi Le Crada Baso de Le Bradia de la Bada la Baba. Rapa la Gragio de Le Vede Le Brande Le Vede Le Braga Bado Wata. Hey, Papa la 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 just share the video, just share the video, share it on your wall, share with somebody, share with a friend, share with somebody. Marco Sivada, Ikatura Gavidandis, Makaya da Brabali, Wasa de Lebrandi Libi Kataya. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Marco de Lera Givada Labrando Leve de Lebede. I ask for mercy. Robo do Siata. Beloved, without much I do, we are entering deeper into the prophetic grounds and the prophetic direction. When you come, share on your word, share on your word and begin to do a watch party. Let somebody come on board and listen to this message. Let somebody come on board and listen to this message. Just go on your watch party, get your uh, a group, your page, click on the watch party. When you click on the watch party, just search for Prophet A.S. Telby. Or search for Prophet Telby. The page will come, the live video will come. Click it and start a watch party so that somebody will be blessed. Now listen to me, beloved. We are Entering into a deeper flow, flow right now, my God. Ah, Makadi Brando Lia Tala Labadosa, the Carabadando Lebraki Bala Labadosa. Now it is deeper in its face. I came here with a divine message that God will provide. God will provide for somebody. When you come, just begin to comment. I am blessed. I am a blessing. God will provide. God will provide for somebody. God will provide for your career. God will provide for your education. God will provide. God will provide. Ali Parodoso Sikataya. God will provide. God will provide right now. Masegragi Abalabadosi Ataya. Ah, my God. My God. God will provide. Just a second. When you come, just begin to share some somebody. Ah. ah, my God. Talagabada la brandoliata. God will provide. Mm. When you come, come in, I am blessed, I am a blessed. Balago de Lebrando Sifradiata. Ah, ah, Magabala Braya Dosiata. I'm posting on my page, right at my account right now, so that everybody can join it. Um, just bear with me that I've not started right now. We are live um, immediately because we are new to this whole studio that we are using now. So, yeah. New to this face studio now. So remember when you come, just share it. It's not un unlike the regular share. Share when I come on board. Now you know how we do it. Our life is on board. But as for this time, uh, there's a, a whole lot of things that we are not doing. Yeah. And we are going to make sure all of those things are done well. Yeah. So that's it. When you come, just share with somebody. Share with the friend, share with the brother. Yeah, my God. My My God, it's gonna be massive right now. It's gonna be massive. Ah, my Lord, tell the Gregory the Brando the Bragiata. He can paradox a Fredica and a Brando. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. The witches of sin is dead. Beloved, now we move. Now we move. We move. We move. We move. We move. We move. Now listen to me, somebody. It is strictly prophetic. The topic of today's message is a deep topic. Don't, 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 don't stress yourself, bro. It is a very deep message. Don't even shake your ground. It's going to be massive. It's a deep message. It's a deep message. 
And the title of what we are going deeper with today is God will provide. Now listen to me to somebody. God is about to bring you divine provision that you have never asked for. Sometimes in life, you have done many things. You have moved to certain places. You have tried your best to make something good happen in your life. But it is like nothing good seems to happen. It is like nothing seems to change. It is like nothing new seems to come. Continuously, you have tried to cause a change in your life. But it is like constantly, there is a struggle. But I came here with the voice of Yahweh to make a prophetic decree unto your life. Life, that God will provide. Ah, Matele Krakusi Vrabalataya. God will provide. Mm. God will provide. With this decree, okay. That God will bring somebody divine provision. Somebody will receive divine provision. Somebody will come into a great provision. Somebody comment, God will provide. Somebody will come into provision. Somebody will receive something they have never received before. Somebody will come into a blessing they have never come into before. Something new is about to happen in the life of somebody because God is about to bring divine provision. Now let's go to Genesis chapter 22. As you can see there, Genesis chapter number 22. And I am reading clearly to you. The Bible said, And Isaac spoke unto Abraham his father, and said, He spoke unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, he said, Here am I, my son. And he said unto him, That's Abraham and his father talking. Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham was with a son. Then the son asked him, he said, Father, this is the wood, this is the fire, but where is the offering? Where is the offering? And the father who has intent power of understanding of the provision of the Lord, the father who has been led by God from time, responded and said in the verse number eight, and he said, and, he said, and Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering, my God. God will provide. God will provide. Yahweh will provide. The son was wondering. The son was worried. Isaac was worried for the father. He was like, Father, how is this thing going to be? This is the fire. This is the wood. This is the firewood and everything set together. But then, where is the burnt offering? But then the father with an intensity of faith who understood that God is the same yesterday, today and forever, came out with a divine declaration and he said, my son, God will provide for himself a burnt offering. God will provide for himself. God will provide. I came and I see a prophetic word that is coming forth unto somebody tonight is that God will provide. God will provide. For the Bible said, he make it rivers in desert pastures. He make it a way where there seems to be no way. For God will provide. I prophesy upon your life today. That divine provision is coming to you. Divine provision is coming to you. Provision that surpasses your understanding is coming to you. Divine provision is coming to you. God is about to bring you to a place of provision. To a place of provision. I see provision coming to somebody. Under the sound of my voice, I declare you shall receive provision in the name of Jesus Christ. God will provide. He asked, this is the fire and this is the wood. Some of you are asking, Lord, this is my certificate. God, this is the education, but where is the job? Where is the job? Some of you are asking, God, I, have, uh, I am educated. God, I have done my master's. God, I have done my degree. God, I have done my PhD. But God, where is the job? Somebody saying, God, I am a handsome man. 
God, I'm a beautiful woman. I, I, I am nice. I am calm. I am a good lady. I know how to cook. I know how to please a man. But God, where is the husband? Ah. God, where is the husband? Where is the husband? Where is the husband of God? And they are asking that question that God, I am but a gentle lady. I am calm. I am not a mess. But then where is the husband? Where is the man to marry me? And it is like they are over aging. They are growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. But no man is coming. No marriage is coming. No proposal is coming. No something that nothing is coming about marriage. Ah. God will provide. The struggle is tough, but God will provide. Ah, le crucifrataya. He said, This is the firewood. Sometimes you have done your best. Sometimes you have brought your best. Sometimes you have brought all you have got. You have brought all you have. You have brought all you can afford. You have put in thought everything. But it is like there is one thing that is needed that is never coming. And that is the main thing. But I came to speak to you that God is about to bring answers to your prayers. God is about to bring answers to your prayers. God is about to bring answers to your prayers come on receive it now god will provide i see provision coming to somebody i see provision coming to somebody i see divine provision about to come to you come on receive it now god will provide when the struggle is tough, listen to me, God will provide. Because sometimes you have gathered yourself together. You have, you have business plans. You have heavy business plans. You have great business plans. But it is like there is no provision to make the business plan work. And it is like people who have no common sense are the ones with the money. And the Bible said, I've seen foolishness under the sun. It's a slave sitting on horses. Whilst kings and priests are walking on foot. Say God will provide. But listen to me, provision will come to you. Because this year, as you began this year, you may have planned that you will build your own house, but even land you don't have. Maybe you have planned that this year, you will marry. This is the year of your marriage. But even somebody to even send you a text message, that I love you, you are not even getting even Facebook friend request, you are not even getting only malams are sending you friend request. Only scammers are sending you friend request. Only malams are sending you friend request. And you are expert sometimes when you receive friend request, you open your phone and you rush. Hey, who is that? Who is that sending me? Then when you check the tape, it is not a reasonable person, it is a man. You will think that is your Mr. Right. Then you check, 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 and then it's a man. Malams are the ones sending you friend requests because listen to me, somebody. Unless the Lord build the house, Psalm 127, unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Unless the Lord watch over the city, they watch men stay awake in vain. And they said the Bible showed up that it is in vain that we wake up early to go down late to eat the bread of sorrows, thereby he giveth his beloved sleep. Listen to me, I prophesy upon your life that may the Lord bring your provision, may the Lord bring your provision. May he make rivers in desert pastures for your sake. May he open bridges for your sake. May the Lord pull out great things out of your life and bring them into manifestation. Come on, receive it now. Sometimes, sometimes, you have polished your face. You say, ask for this year, God, my marriage. Oh, God, this year, my marriage must come. But the year has begun. And it is like, even I love you, you are not getting it. Even those people that were around you that you were hoping in case, they will mingle with you. They too, they've turned another junction. Then it's like nothing is going to come. It's like you are not seeing nothing. It is like nothing is showing forth. But God will provide. It is like you are not seeing any opportunity. But God will provide. It is like nobody is interested in your company. But God.
God will provide. It's like nobody wants to purchase what you are selling, but God will provide. It is like you have lost all you have labored for, but God will provide. It is like you are not seeing your way forward, but God will provide. I see provision coming to you. 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 Come on, receive it. Ayaka brother Liotta. Listen to me. There are three things you need to enter into your divine provision. Number one, one needs to be ready. You need to be ready to grab provision. You need to be ready. Number one, you have, you have to be ready. Most of the things that people are trying to do in life, they are not ready for it. You are in marriages you are not ready for. You are in jobs you are not ready for. You are driving cars you are not ready for. You are living in houses you are not ready for. Listen to me. Abraham was ready to climb the mountain. Abraham was ready to sacrifice Isaac. Abraham was ready. He was a man that was ready. Some of the time you are not ready. You are not ready. You are not ready. You don't you don't brush your teeth. You don't bath well, but you want a husband. You don't bath well, you don't shave your armpit, you don't chew your armpit or your bath. But you are looking for a beautiful wife. My brother, you are not ready. You are not ready. You are so lazy, you are good at sleeping from morning to evening and do nothing. And you want a job. You are not ready. You are not ready. Listen to me. Some people are there. They are like, eh, I'm believing God for traveling. Though when I travel abroad, I'll go and work hard and I'll achieve all my goals and I'll achieve all my dreams. Listen to me, somebody. A, a fool is always a fool. Wherever you position them, they are going to be that foolish. There were people who are lazy. They were taken abroad. They still want to live the same way they were living here, expecting their life to change. Listen to me. There are many people that listen i have studied the systems of many countries and i have come to a conclusion that if somebody travels from africa and goes to america and says that america is hard and the country is or london or something is hard and the country it is not easy it's not easy like ghana it's not easy like um, south africa it's not easy like all of those countries the person is a is a very very big hypocrite and a very very big liar and number two a very lazy man a very very lazy person a very very big hypocrite a very very great hypocrite then some people be like you know the country is not easy it is not that because we are abroad then everything is fine and everything is not fine like that even if we are abroad everything is not fine like that we are still struggling things are not working please please opportunities you are not ready for the place you travel because you know when you travel you go there when you travel you want to live the same way you live you used to live so you will sit you see you can take the donkey to the river but you can't force the donkey to drink from the river listen to me somebody some of you they have taken you to the river but then you will not drink the river some of you even like how M. jacob said he said the lord was here and i knew not some of you if your opportunity your opportunity comes you will miss it if you go to heaven right now you will still be poor if they take you to a land of gold and treasure you will still be poor because you are not ready to make it to be ready that's one key that's yourself the job you are believing god for are you ready the house you are believing god for are you ready are you ready to face these consequences you are afraid to even move you are not ready abraham was ready to sacrifice the son he was ready to sacrifice anything he could sacrifice for the sake of what he believed in are you ready number two now listen to me number one you have to be ready for the prophecy uh, for, for, for the success you have to be ready you have to prepare for it number two to receive divine provision one key factor is you have to move it's three common words ready move on your mask get ready go 
Peer, peer, move, move, move. Tell somebody, move. Anybody watching me, I am telling you, if you are sitting on your glory, move. If you are sitting at home, move. If you are sitting in your room hoping that a man will come from heaven and come and marry you, you are being a fool, move. Don't sit in your bedroom and hope that the fact that you, you don't even have pictures on social media. How can somebody love you? You don't have picture on social media. Your, your profile picture on WhatsApp is not even a picture. It is some cat you are putting there. And you are putting a um, lion, and then sometimes flowers, and sometimes some celebrities. You put their pictures on your profile. Sometimes when people want to see you, they love you. Sometimes when people just hear your name, the Lord will speak into their heart that this is the woman. But then when they check your profile, the picture you took is the picture you took in 1964 when you were buying rice at the junction. And that is the picture that you have there. So when they look at you now, they're like, hmm. Never, Nara, it's not gonna happen. That is not the woman. That is not the woman. This is not my 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 my, my, my woman. Then they dump you. But listen to me, somebody. You have to move, move packaging, move with something. Abraham took everything. He went with the firewood. Oh, Kaliso, Frabagadiata, Alagadele, Brando, Levegini, Misata, Lakusa, Franti. He went with the firewood. The guy make red. He didn't go to play with. He went with the firewood. He went with fire. He went with stones. He went with his hands. <laughs> he was ready. And he moved. They were traveling. The Lord told him, go here. Their journey was long, but he was going. They were moving. They, if they had sat down, that opportunity would never occur. Some of you are believing God for jobs. Send application. You are there hoping that the CEO of the company will come from his house and come and give you the job by force in your house. That is why they write applications. Move. The third thing you want to know to receive divine provision is if you have somebody somewhere, tell the person, have faith. Have faith. Have faith. You need to have faith. If you don't have faith, your entire life is a waste. You need to have faith. 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 When you come on the video, just share the video. Share the video with somebody. Pala gradio have faith. Have faith. Maro badi la gradiso la vrando le briata. Have faith. Yes, share, share with somebody. Akada la vrando ya da la vadosa. Share with somebody. Have faith. Some of you don't have faith at all. Have faith. Abraham had. He was a man of faith. He went there with everything. Prepared for the blessing. Prepared for God. He was already. Because listen to me. He had this kind of faith that he knew that he would accomplish the mission. He knew that the thing would happen. The kind of people I hate in my life is those people. People who are like, maybe I should do it. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe I should do it. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh, should I do it? Oh, what if? What if it doesn't go well? Oh, what if it fails? What if I hate that people with passion? I hate that people with passion. Can I do it? I can't do it. Can I do it? I can't do it. Can I do it? I, those people, I don't like them at all in my life. I don't like them at all in my life. You need to have faith to do it. Take the leap of faith, that single leap of faith, that single step of faith, that single line of faith. Take that step of faith. Have it and take it. Create what you want and move. Create what you want and begin to move towards it. Don't sit down hoping that something will come from somewhere and carry you. No, you need to take the step. Take the step. People will plant seed in the land, fed sand and pour the sand on it, cover and bury the seed, just pour water on it 
and expect a tree to come out. But they can't have faith for any other way. They assume, sometimes we make a mistake, we assume some things are natural. Nothing is natural. It's a miracle for you to drop a seed. Scientists can explain to you how the seed will grow. Because in its normality, but they can never show you why the seed grows. Why the seed grows. They can never show you why a little seed became a big tree, but they can tell you why. They, they can tell you how it grows, but the why they don't know. Nobody knows the why. The why did it grow? Nobody knows. Now they know how. So they can give you a diagram and it came from promo to radical and back, 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 a big tree. But they can't tell you why it grew. Because the why is divine. When you plant that seed and you pour the sand on it, you need a why to make it grow. Something needs to come to you. And somebody, you are about to receive divine provision this year. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive provision, provision in your life, divine provision, divine provision in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is established in the name of Jesus. Provision is coming to you. Marky brother soul. Provision is coming to somebody. Listen to me, somebody. Have faith. The Bible said faith is the substance of things open, the evidence of things unseen. With that, the elders obtain the good report. Listen to me, somebody. You need to position yourself and hope for things. Visualize the things you want to have. See yourself with the things you want to have. See yourself in the places you want to be. Even if you are in your small house, see yourself in the mansion. Begin to treat your small house with appreciation and respect so that it can be able to be developed to a bigger level. So you have have hope for greatness. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the word of God. Have faith. Believe God for something. So that there will be provision. Because many people have guarded their houses and chariots ready for battle. But victory comes from the Lord. You may have guarded your application, your CV, your, your, your business plans and everything. But it takes the grace of God and the power of God to receive an outcome. Listen to me, somebody. Change is coming to you. Have faith. See what you want to have in life. And the Lord will provide. The Lord is not going to provide for people who are sitting down. No. The Lord will provide. If you decide to send that application, He will convince the HR to employ you. If you decide to post your pictures on Facebook, and you decide to dress nicely, and you decide to go up and down, and go to your work and come back and move here. God will let you meet as you move in places busily doing your job or going to school or doing any other course or going back and forth. God will let you meet your husband or wife there. Listen to me. Sometimes the contract you are believing God for is not at the junction. It is in a school. Your head, you don't like going to school. If you go to a school and you are there, you will meet a businessman who is coming to do some kind of um, short course. To do some business and then you will meet their businessman and then the lord will connect you and the businessman will employ you into his business and then you'll be so rich connection can meet you in various places but if you don't move like abraham went to the mountain but then until he got there before he asked for provision before i told his son that god will provide he told his son God will provide. When he was on the mountain, you are sitting in your house seeking for God's provision. You should be on the street. You should be moving. You should be selling something. If it is not something big, you sell something small. Do some small business for the Lord to connect you. But if you are there, God will provide. God will provide. And you don't move. The condition at which they said God will provide. Some people are like, God's time is the best. I say that is the philosophy of ignorant fools because the issue is that if God's time is the best, how do you know God's time? Tell me how you know God's time. How do you know God's time? If God's time is the best, how do you know which one is God's time? And that's where the problem is. Listen to me somebody. Wake up from your slumber. 
and receive divine provision in the name of Jesus. I urge you to move. If you're a footballer, trainer, if you're a musician, write the songs. You just write all the garbage, write them all together. The nonsense you think will not make sense. That's the only one that will make you successful. If you're a businessman, you write the businessman. Look like a fool. Every day have a business plan and be sending the business plans around. Be sending it around and provision will fall on it. Provision will come. Provision will come. You let them laugh at you that you have always dressed fine and you are never married. You're always looking good. You're always smelling good. Keep smelling good. They will sit down there and one great person will come and pick you and marry you. To their greatest surprise. Because you see, when you the person comes to you, you are ready to receive them. If you're not really ready to receive the blessing, you can never be able to have the blessing. Listen to me, somebody. Some of you are believing God for Range Rover. Can you buy food? Hmm. That's the question. Can you, can you buy food? Are you ready for that kind of thing? Can you buy food? I'm like, oh God, I am believing you for a brand new car. A brand new car. Do you know how much servicing costs? Roadworthy, insurance, servicing every um, six months. Do you know how much engine or even common engine oil and transmission oil? Not to talk about cleaning all these air filters back and forth. Tomorrow this, tomorrow that. You have to do this. You go and hit a hole. Bam. You bump into a portal. So bam. You break some shock absorbers. You have to really um, go back and fix them again. And this and that. You know how much that things cost. I say, God, I want a brand new car. God, I'm looking for a Range Rover. Then when you use the Range Rover to treat somebody's car, a little. Then you can't pay them. Because you are not ready. Listen to me, somebody. Please prepare yourself for that breakthrough. Stand in the position to receive it. So that you can receive it when it's coming. Sometimes you are not there. Where the blessing is, you are not there. You are somewhere else complaining. Somewhere else complaining. May the Lord fill your heart with plenty. May the Lord fill your house with plenty. May the Lord fill your house with plenty in Jesus' name. And I'm giving you this last scripture. The Bible says something. Psalm chapter 37, 10, 25. He said, I have been young. And now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous for seconds? No, he said, begging for bread. Listen to me, beloved. You shall not beg for bread. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not beg for bread. Listen to me, beloved. We are in a deeper dimension. Now listen, just begin to comment this thing to me. Just comment. We are entering into a prophetic session. Move, somebody, move. Move. Beloved, we are live. So when you come on the video, just love it and like it. I'm posting the poster for you. You see this banner that you are seeing there? It's supposed to be a banner you are going to be using for your wallpaper, your profile picture, and every other thing to bless somebody's life. I posted it the poster. Yeah. So this is the for the live video. All of you need to share it. You need to be sharing this. This is the meticulous prophetic online. Uh, you need to share it. You need to share each poster. I've also posted this poster now. So this poster is on. You need to share it by the grace of God. So it will load and then it will pop up. Mm -hmm. Each poster will come up. I want it to be your profile picture. I want it to be your this thing, your picture. I want it to be in your this thing. I want it to be everywhere. Let's make, bring it everywhere. Put it everywhere, all around. Yeah. That is a meticulously prophetic. And beloved, you have to remember 
to follow follow us right now just follow us follow our page remember follow follow the page right now follow 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 just when you come on the video just follow follow the page I just follow follow us follow us follow I'm just here to happy these things. And I think it's prophecy time. Let me let me do something small. I want to lower the size of this time. I don't I don't think I can do that. So let me leave it like that. So it is going to be prophetic time. Um, um, this thing, when you check lower below, you will see um, something I've written here. Yeah? Um, prophecy time. So it is time for prophecy. So um, when you join the video, you need to comment, um, locate, and then share. Share to 20 groups. Do a watch party to 20 groups, and then comment, locate. Just do that right now. Yeah, just share to 20 groups. Do a watch party to 20 groups, and then comment, locate. Yeah. Beloved, just yes, comment locate. Let's comment locate. Let's go. Comment locate. Let's comment locate. Makaya Gadoli Brady and Alabadi. Come and locate, come and locate, come and locate. Now you come, just come and locate and share the video. Just come and locate and share the video. Just comment, locate, just be commenting, comment, locate, comment, locate. Beloved, you see this t shirt? That's a meticulously prophetic t shirt. Okay, let me post it beside me so that you can watch. This is it. If you watch the right side of the video, you will see that there is a T-shirt there that I show pop up on the screen. That's the meticulously prophetic T-shirt. So this is it. That's what I'm wearing here right now. And this T-shirt is it's a massive T-shirt. Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I want to share it around the world. Uh, but then, um, what is going to happen is I have another one that is coming out with. Yeah, real inspirations like they've written a lot of inspirations on it like you know messages like i am more than a conqueror i am this i'm that so we are going to share it all over it's going to be all over the world so i'm going to it's going to be in um like this time they call it in america in london in germany everywhere in ghana in south africa in netherlands in the netherlands yeah in the netherlands it's going to be in the Caribbean. It's going to be in the, like, it's going to be around. So, so what is going to happen is those with in America will ship it. Like, I'll ship it to Vantage Point so that you can share it. Like, you know, I mean, I mean, we should, I, I don't want to sell it. So, with a seed, you want to sow a seed on it to support its printing. You want to sow a seed on it. So, if you want to get a t-shirt, I will come back on live on on my account not on the page on my account and i'll show you the way to get it so that you can be able to get a t-shirt so that's a t-shirt to my right side so you go ahead and prepare for it if you want it so with a seed we will send you and i'll send you the t-shirt and i'll send you this we'll give you the t-shirt and i'll give you a wooden cross so uh, i mean look at the wooden cross this one is not just a wooden cross. It's not that as for the one I'm carrying, this one is not just a wood. This one is a very serious thing. As for this one, it's a heavy weapon. That is the cross. 
that is the sign of our faith. Therefore, it is the greatest weapon. This and the Bible are the only weapon. Forget about all the anointing oils and every other thing. This thing, this one and the Bible are the only weapons in Christianity. The strongest weapons. This, this is like the hydrogen bomb and the nuclear bombs. These are the main deal. The rest are firearms. These ones are the missiles. So you need this. As a child of God, you need a cross in your car, in your house, in your anywhere. Around. You need a cross somewhere in your life. So you need a cross. Somebody needs a cross. A cross is needed. You need a cross. So that is it. So I'm going to add a cross, this wooden cross to it, and we're going to ship it to your house with your address. So when our former, I'll get a contact line or the true email i think whether it's whatsapp or email i want a place where um, a place where that won't get crowded it's like the people that are looking for me to talk to them like you know people try, uh, i've been speaking to like counseling and praying for their a lot so most of the time they find to me any other avenue i open instead of them to do the thing that is supposed to be done there they end up actually um you know coming there for counseling so i'll look for maybe email or something then when you want it, you request for it, you send a message, you want it, you send your address, then we'll send you that then you put a seed offering on it, we'll send you the t-shirt, then we'll send you this. So the t-shirt will have a motivation on it. And those who also want a meticulously prophetic t-shirt, yes, you can also get it, and then you'll be blessed. So we'll make an arrangement for that. God bless you. Okay, so let me let me leave the cross on my Chest so that you people will see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. Let me put it on my back. So this is how it looks like. So when you put it on, you can have a jacket on it. So this is how it looks like. So this is the tickles, the prophetic. So that is how it looks like. So that is the t-shirt for you. So that is it. So now, beloved, come and locate. Let's do this. When you come and locate, I will speak to you. Just come and locate. Beloved, come and locate. When I mention your name, you comment, I am here. That's the rules of engagement for the prophet. When you come share on the chat, the video. And then come and look. When I mention your name, you comment, I am here. Uh-huh. Just come and look it. And then when I mention your name, you comment, I am here. Just come and look it. When I mention your name, you comment, I am here. People have to remember this is the year of abundance. Our year of abundance. It is our year of abundance. Brother Labados. Just come and look it. Just come and look it. Have mercy on me. Beloved, can you come and look it? I'll speak to you. To I'll speak to you and come and look it. In a deeper prophetic According fashion. To that um, that's what is going to happen. The camera is out here, so my comment section is below me. Oh, I am. I will read your comment and prophesy to you. Cleanse me from my sins. For I know my transgression, O Lord. My sins is. Okay, let me speak to you. Sisse Kofi. Sisse. Sisse Kofi. When I mention your name, you comment, I am here. I'm speaking to Sisse Kofi. That is the one person I'm speaking to. I am, when I mention your name, you comment, I am here. Then when I mention your name, you comment, I am here. Then I speak to you. Sister Kofi, and I'm, I'm going to speak to um, O.C. Light as well. O.C. Light and Sister Kofi. I will speak to O.C. Light and Sister Kofi. That's the two I'm speaking to right now. Then as you come on board, then I speak to you. Just share to group, share around. Share the video, share the video. Share the video. 
Now, Kofi sister, listen to me. The Lord is speaking to me that is going to bring divine transformation in your life. But spiritually, the Lord is speaking to me that I should pray for you with regards to certain people that are going around. Because in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing a name like Jonathan, like Jonathan, Jonathan in the realm of the spirit. And I am seeing a place like a football pitch that they are playing football. And I am seeing the football pitch where they play the football. There is a sitting place to the right side. And there are something like ties over there and some things that they sit on. And in the realm of the spirit, as I began to look further and even proceeded into the deeper grounds of the prophetic, the Lord even opened my eyes to see that there are certain situations that the enemy wants to use to ground your life through certain people that I have mentioned, this certain person, the Jonathan. Because the Lord is speaking to me that there will be a problem that is going to come through somebody called Sewa, and in the realm of the spirit, that problem will be coming to Jonathan, and then you will be found in that problem spiritually. The Lord says, I shall pray for you and release you from that satanic hold because the devil has planned to use this thing to cripple your destiny and cripple your life. But the Lord is saying to me that this is your time for divine transformation. I make a decree right now for a release right now in your life. I declare you are set free from the shackles of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Go for me. Say. The Lord is going to release you and take you out of that situation. But also what I am seeing is that there is going to be an opportunity that is going to open for you. Because spiritually, as I am seeing that thing right now, I saw the Lord took me deeper into the face of time. And I entered deep down into a place and I saw a man, his name is Briar. Who is Briar? And in the realm of the spirit, when I saw Briar, I saw that Briar is sitting down with his two brothers. And his two brothers that I am seeing right now, I am seeing Kojo, I am seeing Kojo, and I am seeing another one, Fee, Fee. And in the realm of the spirit, as these people were seated, they were sitting at a place and in a place, uh, this kind of building that they build that you can climb the steps before you enter. It's like a hometown building, but this one is a bigger one and it's up and it's like erosion as you know, taking over the, the floor. Then, spiritually, as I saw those people sitting there, the Lord spoke to me. That there is something that is a working on the face of your father's family that is hunting the growth and the success of your father's family. Because of that, it is like constantly you have been struggling in your life to cause a change in your destiny. So it is like every day there is a struggle to make something new happen in your life because of a situation that is hovering around the face of your that family. Because when I saw those people, I saw that their lives were stagnant, and the Lord is speaking to me. That he is about to bring change in your life, and you will never be like them because he's about to lift you up to be the one to change their story. Listen to me, your story is never going to be the same. Come on, receive grace right now. I release you in Jesus' name. Oh, see light, oh, see light, let me pray for you. Oh, see light, who is called grace, 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 grace. The person who is called grace. I don't know whether the person has, has a different name that they call the person with. But I may be hearing a name that looks like Otobi or Utobi or Otobi. Something Toby or something. I don't know what that name is. But spiritually, the Lord is speaking to me to pray for you by the grace of God. That that person that I am seeing, the Otobi or Utobi or something I am seeing, grace, something. The Lord is speaking to me that He is about to open certain opportunities for you. And the opportunity is going to come through that person. The person will not look like somebody that can change your life. But what is going to happen is that it will take that person for you to receive a connection, to receive a phone call. And when that phone call comes to you, your story as you know it now will change. Because God has declared it and it will be established. Receive change in Jesus' name. Ah, Makelo Karagido Satayata. As I prophesy, you confirm the prophecy with haste so that I can be able to proceed further. And right now, I don't know which part to look at from. I am. I, I, um, um, okay. You have to respond to the prophet so that I can see your prophecy. 
Okay, God bless you. Somebody's watching from Sydney. Makele Gragabada la Brando Sifragia da la Brandia Talabado. I'm confused though. I don't know whether to watch this comment here or to look at this comment here. Macabrado Yasato. Okay. Let me see which one has fast response. Okay, this one is quite delayed. This one is quite delayed. So this one is delayed. So I'll, I'll focus on this one. I'll focus on the other one. This one is quite delayed. I'll focus on here. Let me put this one here. Let me go bring the whole. Okay, so that it will be right in front of me. So I can just read it and then go forward. Uh, I was focusing on the other one, but I think I need to focus on this one. Wow, and this one, the, the comment, it jumps fast. It's not jumping like ordinary comment at all, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, will use software to come like, beloved, if you like the video and love it, like the video and love it. Or you come just be sharing, sharing. Emmanuel George, Emmanuel George. Emmanuel George, I think I have to still stick to this one. I have to still stick to the phone because if I stick to the phone, it will be quite easy. This phone too is not easy for me. <laughs> Let me stick to the phone. Okay, let me do it this way. Let me do it the way I've done it already. Because on the, 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 the screen, I am really having it to see the, the comment section. Emmanuel George, where is he? Emmanuel George. Emmanuel George. When I mention him, you comment, I am here. If this is your first time watching me, follow me. If this is your first time watching, follow me. Emmanuel George. Emmanuel George. When I prophesy, you confirm the prophecy part. Emmanuel George. Emmanuel George. Any for the way I'm prophesying, you go deeper with me. Let's go. Kadala Branda La Branda Vanda La Brandosa. Makedele Gradia de la Bradoya Talabaya. Oh, Ima, I, am, I have done something here. I have something here. Oh, Ima, let me show you what I have done. I have something here for paper. So, this is cash app. Uh, this is cash app. So, Ima, don't worry. Tech, technology is not out by hand. So, we have infused the 
Beloved, if you can't hear me, let me know. If you are missing the sound, let me know. Yeah, I've turned it on. I think I, I drew it closer and it started giving feedback. Is it good now? I did, I, 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 it was feedback. Sheila E. in Kuma. Sheila in Kuma. Listen to me. The Lord is going to take you to a different level. I am seeing divine connection coming to you. What the Lord has opened my eyes to see. It's an opportunity that is going to be open for you in four years. Because spiritually, I am seeing a very heavy boutique that is open. It is a five um, store line. One, two, three, four, five. Below is five as well. A heavy building and it is like they are selling all sorts of things. But mainly, what I am seeing has to do with beauty stuff and wedding gowns and all those kinds of things and i am seeing that door about to open for you because the lord is speaking to me that there has been a lot of confusion in your life as to what to do in your life but the lord is speaking to me that is going to bring that establishment by the grace of God. That divine flow is about to come to you i declare establishment by the power of the holy ghost yes it's established Citizen Nanaya, Citizen Nanaya. Now listen to me. The Lord is going to take you to a different face in life. Because I have seen a man invite you to his office. The moment you entered into the office, the man just told you that he has certain things that he wants to give to you. The first thing he gave you was a pickup truck, a black pickup truck. He gave you a pickup truck, pickup truck. And as you entered there, the man told you that he wants you to work with him. And spiritually, as I began to look further, the Lord gave me opened my eyes. And I saw that when the man said he wants to, you to work with him, the man then called you again on another month. And he told you that because of working for him, he wants to give you a specific place. So I saw the man told you to pick up some plots of land. And spiritually, the Lord spoke to me that this man is going to be linked to you within this year and that will change the face of your story the lord is speaking to me that from right now to december in the middle of this year you will meet an encounter that will change the face of your story listen to me spiritually there are certain objects that you need to shut down because in the face of time i have entered into the divine jurisdiction of your mother's family and the lord is showing me something that even has to do with royalty and the lord is showing me that there is something that has been battling the men in the household that does not want them to to be able to stabilize in life so your family they have unique way of succeeding but the success does not last in that line of time because the devil brings in certain women to cause commotions to bring their life down thereby making them suppress their calling in greatness listen to me i pray for you right now and i release you from that shackles in jesus name you are set free by the power of the holy ghost my brothers over the attack Mm. My daughter is online. Diana, how are you? God bless you. I really love my daughter so much. They are amazing people, trust me. They are amazing. Marco Bradiata, just come and look at it if you come on board. Oh, Laki Kada La Bragada La Guatisa. Hmm. Na asha asha kwa asha kwa. Let me pray for you. This is what I am seeing right now. I am seeing a foreign passport in your hand, and the Lord is telling me that you are destined for this. It's like some people are suppressing you from jumping up into the higher height of your life. But I am seeing a, for a foreign passport in your hands. And the Lord is speaking to me that you are destined for an international flow because of what He wants to do for you in life. So that you'll be able to take care of your entire family. He will establish that thing in your life. He will establish that thing in your life. My crowd is older, let me Ajeman Gloria. Edu Ajeman Gloria. Listen to me. In the realm of the spirit, the Lord is going to release you from every pattern of darkness. Because in the realm of the spirit, the Lord said, I shall pray for you. 
because of certain things that is working in your mother's family because spiritually what i am seeing right now is your mother and the family and the household they have gathered together spiritually and as i began to look through i began to see something that is very strange in the household to marry is easy to stay in marriage is difficult the lord is speaking to me that there is something that has been battling the face of the marriage that they have to even compromise to be able to exist in the marital affairs of the family therefore any marriage that rises in the family is shut down the lord is speaking to me that how the devil has orchestrated this thing he will be shut down because there is a force in the household that is battling that force is coming from your grandmother's sister she got herself involved with certain things that brought certain altars to the household and it was like she was the one calling the shots ahead of time in your mother's time therefore certain things has been placed in the generation of the household that is worrying people i pray for release in the name of jesus Marco Brady at all. I I I no. Ah, my lip balm is here. I should have used it. Swami body in our papa. Swami body in our body left free before papa. It's like my mouth hurts. The witches of sin is dead. I declare that I want to die, Lord. Mami Fosua, Mami Fosua, I'm praying for you. Makadele Gragosiata Labradiata, Lekede Labradiata Labrandosiata. Kim Media, Daka Senegal, I'll pray for you. Mami Fosua, I'll pray for you. Ah, Lekradiza Bradiata Labados. Mami Fosua, I'll pray for you. God of mercy, see. And God of mercy, see. Mami Fusu, I'll pray for you. Emanuela Chikata. Chikata, I'll pray for you. Emanuela Chikata. Tatu Chikata. <laughs> when I hear the name Chikata, then I'm happy. That man is an amazing man. I really, I, I, he nearly made me turn into a lawyer. If you run, I want to become a lawyer. <laughs> hey, that's you, Chikata. Emmanuel, La Chikata, because of the name Chatu, because of Chatu Chikata, today I'll speak to you. Your name is Chikata. Tattoo chick at the That man is wonderful. I don't, I don't even know what to say. He's a mighty man. Beloved, give me a second. I don't know. The comment I'm getting here is like one way. It's like the comments that are coming are different. But then the comments I'm getting at the other this side is one way. Let me, um, Opening another bit to another place. That I can get the comments of God. It's like it's, it's coming like the way when I come live on it, it comes. You'll miss a lot of comments. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Emmanuela Chikata. Now I'm, I'm seeing the Chikata book. Emmanuel Achikata. Now I'm seeing the Chikata view. Uh -huh. Now that I'm seeing my people. Now I'm seeing, I'm, I think I'm seeing things now. Things are better now. Now I'm seeing, aha, hi. Now I'm seeing the people commenting. 
as far as like uh, it's shortlisted, they've cut the comment lines. Mm. Ah, there is Kim Bezaya, Medina, Medina, and everybody. Else. And I, I, I was quite missing a lot of people. Beloved, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think I'll mention your name from here and answer you the prophecy here. Just comment. When you come on the video, share the video and follow me. Don't forget to follow. When you follow, you see a bell. When you come on the video, you see a bell here. Click on the bell. It's a notification in all live videos. Not follow and for notification. Just follow me. Right? Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me now and share the video. Follow and share. Follow and like the video too. Like it and love it. Just comment locate where you come on board. Let me put in the description for the location. Okay, I'll put you another thing there. I'll post it another thing. So, hey, is the scripture rather? Hey, this, this is not easy for me. Let's do this. Maka Brothers Aliata. Just come and look it. Amwa Matthias, I am praying for you. The Lord is speaking to me that He's going to lift up a standard in your life. I am seeing certain things growing up in your life. But what I am seeing is I'm seeing something that God is going to do for you. I'm seeing stones, stones, these query stones. The stones on the street in front of a house. And it's a story building. And the Lord is speaking to me that they will give you rest. Aku Glover, let me pray for you. The Lord is speaking to me that you will be celebrated around the face of the world. Because spiritually there is certain things that God wants to open for you. The Lord is saying to me that there is certain limitations that you are battling. And it has to be dealt with because that wave of delay cannot continue in your life anymore. I release you from disappointment in Jesus' name. Mm. You are set free. Macabra Gadeli Adoli Tasiata. Ah, my low bread yata la baduata. Ah, my cause of the lebraga badeli grando sifra diata la labadota. Hm, my co brede gedele gradia zala labadosa. It is happening right now. Gifty Elinam, Elinam, gifty. I'm praying for you. The Lord is going to take you from every limitation you are facing. I'm seeing new stories are opening up because of you. New things are opening because of you. The Lord is going to change your story. But you have to really stand firm and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Because there is a change that is coming in your life that will shake the face of your destiny. The Lord is going to position you in a place that you will see greatness. That is beyond imagination. Can I speak to you? I want somebody who is active so I can really deal with their situation in a deeper place. Makada la broda la kadili pratosis. Sika pape bra, how are you? Is that the one I know? Yeah, I think that's it. I ask for mercy. Listen to me. I don't know who is watching me today. But maybe you are you, you are believing God for a capital. You are believing God for capital for your business. Let me pray for you, Lord. I declare upon anybody watching me right now, beloved. If you have your bank card, take it. If you have a bag, open it. If your phone is what you are using, just say mobile money. I declare the Lord will link somebody. The way the whole thing will be before the person will send you the capital for your job, you'll be shocked. I speak upon your life that may the Lord bring you divine favor, divine favor, divine favor, funding and provision for your vision in the name of Jesus, funding and provision for your vision in the name of Jesus. I declare it established by the reason of the anointing. Receive that favor, receive that grace, receive that blessing in the name of Jesus from today. Never again shall you strive. Danica Rigans. I'm praying for Danica Rigans. 
the Lord is speaking to me that he will bring you to a place in life that your story will be changed but then spiritually what I am seeing right now is that the Lord is going to pull you out of a specific position that you are in and you are going to lose some people but do not worry see the Lord because he's going to bring something great in your life if you do not worry and um, grow worried Emmanuel Chikata Chikata let me pray for you Emmanuel Chikata now listen to me Emmanuel the Lord is speaking to me there is going to be a divine change in your life because this is what I am seeing I am seeing people building buildings you know these buildings that they build and they will raise their wood under like they will raise it up so the building will be up I am seeing you building buildings that were up the, the woods under that will be standing and the buildings will be up and I saw that building being established somewhere and in the realm of the spirit I saw people taking pictures all around the building and the Lord is saying to me that it's going to bring you greatness that surpass understanding because I am seeing the Lord counting one, two, three, four, five, six, and two were separated aside and I counted one, two, three and then you popped out of that place and the Lord is speaking to me that you will come from behind and you will lead your family. I declare it established in Jesus name. Amen. Listen to me, you are believing God. For financial blessings, Ma, um, Amwa Matthias, God is speaking to me. Eh? Somebody will you will be look you will be connected to somebody. That opportunity will come to you because of certain building that they are building in your area. In your area, they are building a house. That building that they are building, there's a new building that they are building. I don't know who is building the building. There is a woman that will come to that place. The woman will be driving a Nissan four-wheel drive. The Lord will bring you divine connection to the woman's husband, and your story will change. Listen to me. If you are believing God for a divine breakthrough, divine provision, I said I have it deep inside my heart. Um, you people know that whatever I say comes to pass. So if I tell you, you will receive blessing, you will receive it. Therefore, open your purse, open your bag, open, take your bank card into your Metro Bank account, into your Chase Bank account, into all your bank accounts. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Into your Barclays Bank account, your... Um, um, your merchant bank account, your um, um, standard chartered, your bank accounts, wherever you save, receive connection to it in Jesus' name. Listen to me, money is coming to somebody, opportunities are coming to somebody, grace is locating somebody. Come on, receive provision in Jesus' name. There are deeper things I will not prophesy on the line. But listen to me. The Lord is going to open doors for you. Provision is coming. Provision is coming. I said, Help is coming. Help is coming. Help is coming to you. Help is coming to you. Help is coming to somebody. Makola Gragi Badala Brando Siata. Divine location. Ah. Paragi Badala Brandi Kadoliata. Help is coming to somebody. Listen to me. Favor will locate you. There is somebody you are watching me right now. You are a lady. You and your husband are having problem right now as I'm speaking to you. you are, the mobile phone you use is a black Samsung phone. It's a dark color. I don't know whether it's black or maybe it is like my color, the Pacific blue. But it looks like dark color. And spiritually, what I am seeing in the realm of the spirit is I am seeing something deeper that is going on. The reason why you are having issues with your husband is because there are certain witches in your household that has made it a point that you will never marry and last long in your marriage. Don't leave your marriage because they have convinced themselves and they have convinced you that the man is not a good man. Spiritually, what the Lord is speaking to me is that the same dead people, I'm hearing a name, J. Drew, some, I will not mention it, but then they, I, I have already mentioned the name in a way, but then. The same people that are telling you that the man is, they are talking to the man. He has even sent them on. The Lord will release you. The Lord will release you. The person is watching me. You husband having problem. You want to leave the marriage. Listen to me. The people that it's your family people. 
that have created that thing, and they are using one of your female friends. I have seen the whole issue clear. You know that some some people they have a phone that is like this, like it has this Pacific blue color, like this. But this one is darker. You know when the thing is shining like this edge, something like that. That's the phone the person is carrying. You you live in America. You live in America. I'm praying for someone. Beloved, if you want to speak to me right now, go into my inbox. Go into my inbox. Send me I man of God and I'll speak to you. If you are here, you want to sow a seed, you want to sow a seed to PayPal or Cash App, PayPal or Cash App, when you receive divine provision, you need to put a seed on it. Beloved, some of you are there, you have businesses, you have money, you are there, you have been, you want provision in life. Go into your inbox and inbox me. Send me I man of God. God, tell me, man of God, I want provision. Show me the way. I'll show you what to do for divine provision. I will show you prophetic direction that will change your life. We didn't come here to so just come and talk. No, 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 that is no joke. My setup here alone is somebody's entire building. Somebody's entire life. Like, they are, they are company. This is my setup here. There is no single device here which is less than a thousand dollars. No, not even one. Go look around, look around. There's nothing here that on this table that is less than a thousand dollars. Not even one. That is less than time. I said a tripod stand, obviously. <laughs> and there are four devices aiding the stream. Music, everything. Don't you hear the sound of the music? This is iMac speaker. <laughs> it's not a joke. We didn't come here to play. We came here to change somebody's story. Yes. So the Lord will change your story. Prepare yourself. Go into my inbox. Speak to me. Let me pray for some people as well. There's a lot of people too that are in the inbox. Some of you have sent message. I've been trying to find you. Don't worry, you can resend it all over again. And don't come to my comment and come and tell the whole world that you've been sending message. I'm not replying. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, man, I'm going to reply me. I'm dying. Don't worry. You he say keep sending the message. Uh -huh. Don't let don't come and express your frustration on my platform or under my comment section. I beg you. Just tell me. In my inbox, what the problem is, and I'll come and speak to you with regards to your situation. So, go into my inbox, send me I, man of God, and your life will never be the same. Now, I want you to sow a seed to PayPal, or this is for Cash App. You go on Cash App, the name is Emilia Kwa. Emilia Kwa. Just sow a seed, whatever you want to sow. Then we have um, this thing um, PayPal. That one too is a million. Quam45 at gmail.com. That's the paper email. That's the paper email. So it's PayPal and Cash App. PayPal and Cash App. The name is Emilia Quam. Emilia Quam45 at gmail.com. That's the PayPal and Cash App. So you can go ahead and proceed further and do your seed on PayPal. And always remember that your life will never ever be the same. As you sow onto this platform, your life will never be the same. As you sow this seed, I make a decree upon your life that your life will never be the same. Go into the inbox, send me I man of God, speak to me on the inbox, that your life will never be the same. I pray for you. I declare you are faithful. I declare you are blessed. Every Wednesday, 12 a.m. GMT, we are live, which is 7 p.m. EST, and it is 2 a.m. Um, Europe time, European time. So that is it. That's the time that we are live. Beloved, if, not, if you've not liked the video, like it and love it, like it and love it. If you've not liked the video, just like it and love it, like it and love it. Just like the video, show some love, like it, love it, like it, love it. And share it on your wall as well. Your life will never be the same. It's going to be massive, 
from today. We, this whole year, this is the first time we've come live. So we've come live on Wednesday. At every, on, on every Wednesday at 12 a.m., we will be live. And from there, on every Tuesdays and Fridays, you already know that Tuesdays and Fridays, we are live on our account, Telvin Soa AJ. The account is called Telvin Soa AJ. That's for Tuesday live videos. That one is going to be a casual live, straight from the camera. But this, on Wednesdays, we are going to spice it up a little so that it will be quite easier so that we will be able to communicate in the deeper so now this one will look very official and neat um, in a landscape form and then on the Tuesdays and Fridays that is on our account we are going to fire with a live video on there so every Wednesday to 12 a.m. meet me here that is 7 p.m. EST and then 2 a.m. European time and also, join me live each and every 8 p.m. GMT, which is 4 p.m. EST on my television. So, I account. If you want to speak to me, just go onto my inbox and send me I'm on a to speak to me. Whatever situations you are dealing with, we can pray for you. And also, I want to tell you, I'm a very serious person. So, if you are not serious, don't inbox me. Don't worry. I don't want you to inbox me if you are not serious. Don't worry. If you don't inbox me, I'll not be worried. It won't worry me at all. So if you are not serious, don't inbox me. If you only inbox me when you really want to solve your problem. I don't talk to people who are not ready to. Because I can't. You can't come and know and uh, talk to me about your problem and I watch the problem keep going on in your life and keep persisting. I really want to change people's story. If you are sick of any sickness, yeah. If you have any issues, if you have any problems, let's go into my inbox. Inbox me, and with regards to that, we'll deal with it. I love you all. God bless you, and may the Lord keep you. Just sow your seed, and God bless you. And from today, we'll also be live every 12 on Wednesdays. I love you all. We'll definitely speak, and we'll meet again. If you've not followed me, follow me, just follow me, and your life will never be the same. Just follow me, and your life will never be the same. Just follow me, and your life will never be the same. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I love you all so much. I love you all, I love you all, I love you. I love you all, I love you all, I love you all so much. I love you all so much. I love you all so much. I love you all so, so, so much. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. I love you all so much. God bless you. God bless you. See you all again. See you. See you soon. For live video. My Labrador side. On Friday, I'm going casual on my account. Tell me so, AJ. God bless you. Love you so much. Have a wonderful one. Bye-bye.